One of the more impressive tools that is included with Photoshop CS4 is the Content Aware Scaling Tool. The first time I saw this at Photoshop World in Las Vegas, my mind was officially blown because I've never seen anything like it and I have had a need for it in the past. Content Aware Scaling is where Photoshop can recognize what your subject is without you telling it and preserve it from being scaled in relationship to the background. I know that probably didn't make any sense to you at all, so I'm going to show you some examples. We're going to duplicate the layer twice. Top layer I'm going to call CAS for Content Aware Scaling. Next layer I'm going to call Transform for my bad example. Let's turn the Content Aware Scaling off and we'll turn off the background. Traditionally, if you had an image that you needed to fit into a smaller space, say this example and then this picture of Lori here sitting on the Brooklyn Bridge, what you would normally do in the past would be Control T to transform and you could try to squish it down like this or you could do uh, you know, something like a skewed fit. But if you were working with a limited framework where it had to be a certain size, maybe a magazine or a web banner or something like that, any scaling you did would change you know, the size of the picture and you couldn't really keep that scale up without cropping it or readjusting it. So if I was to scale using the transform tool, watch what happens with Lori here. See how she's getting all squishy? This does not look real at all. So let's do it again using the content aware scaling tool. Select this layer. We're going to come up here to edit content aware scale and you get a transform kind of look. Keep a close eye on Lori from her head to her feet as I'm rescaling this. Do you notice anything weird happening? So the background, if you look in the background, the background's changing. And Lori is not changing. Okay, a little bit in her feet, but for the most part, she's just sitting there. Now, when you really smash your subject down to one side, there will be some minor, minor, you know, skewing and adjustments that, that happen. But if we're going to compare these in a second, as soon as this renders. So there it finished. Let's take a look at these with a comparison with the background. So we'll put our original image on. Okay, you can look at that and say, yeah, this doesn't, this doesn't look good at all when, when we compare it with our previous image. So there's our pre the first image, and if we... You know, obviously that doesn't look very good at all. So let's turn this guy on and compare it with our original. Do you notice how the background changed? But Lori did not change very much at all. It's a, a very magical, incredible thing. And if we were to compare them between the two layers, there's a huge difference. So that is the content aware scaling tool in Photoshop CS4. Very neat tool. If you found this video helpful, you may be interested in my new DVD, Photoshop Crash Course. I'll not only teach you the most important tools in Photoshop, I'll teach you how to think in Photoshop. It can be ordered from the following link.